Hello everyone, welcome to ITLS Academy. This is your mentor Dr. Shamaika Basu and in this session we will be moving on to the next uh, topic or next module of the course of medical coding that is as you can see over here. So the title of this topic will be pregnancy, childbirth and the poor perium. So and the codes are running from 0 uh, or rather 000 to 09A. Okay. So let's start. I think this is not a very big topic or elaborate topic. So we will be able to cover it in one session. Okay, so let's see what are the different codes and subcodes over here. So first we have 0 to 8 which corresponds to pregnancy with abortive outcome. Then we have 0 9 which corresponds to supervision of high risk pregnancy. Then we have uh, 1 0 to 1 6 which corresponds to edema, proteinuria and hypertensive disorders in pregnancy, childbirth and the puerperium. Then we have 20 to 29 which corresponds to other maternal disorders predominantly related to pregnancy. Then we have 30 to 48 which corresponds to maternal care related to the fetus and amniotic cavity and possible delivery problems. Then we have 60 to 77 which corresponds to complications of labor and delivery. Then we have 80 to 82 which corresponds to encounter for delivery. Then we have 85 to 92 which corresponds to complications predominantly related to the puerperium. And then we have 94 to 9A which corresponds to other obstetric conditions not elsewhere classified. So again I would just like to highlight the portions where the chronological order is not being maintained. So the first will be right after 016 we are having 020. So 17, 18, 19 is not there. Next important uh, skip is right after 048, we are having 060. This may be very much missing. Hai. Okay. Then right after 0, uh, sorry, 077, we are having 080. So this may be 78, 79 is not there. Okay. Then again after 082, we are having 085. So this may be 83, 84. Nahi hai. And then again after uh, 092, we are having 094. So here also. 93 is not there okay so moving on to the first important topic uh, that we need to talk about under this different sets of conditions so the first one will be ectopic pregnancy and the code for which will be 000 okay so it's a very important condition and it's also very commonly seen in women okay particularly those women who suffer from endometriosis or who suffer from irregular periods or pcos or dysmenorrhea these people usually have a higher tendency to have ectopic pregnancy but however it can occur with anyone okay it's just a you know, matter of luck so it's a potentially life-threatening condition in which the embryo the mammalian implant embryo as in the mammalian implant since here we are talking only about humans outside the cavity of the uterus so ideally after uh, you know after fertilization uh, the zygote or the embryo it gets implanted inside the uterus okay so that is the ideal condition or, or that is the normal condition of pregnancy but what happens in ectopic pregnancy ecto means bar ecto means outside okay so when the implantation is uh, getting done or when the implantation is occurring rather not inside the uterus and anywhere else Okay, that is the condition when it's known as ectopic pregnancy. So now anywhere else can be many different conditions. Most, uh, you know, commonly the implantation occurs in the fallopian tube. Means where fertilization hota in the isthmus of the fallopian tube. That is the region where fertilization takes place. Actually, wahi pe ja ke fir implantation bhi ho jata hai. Wo jo, matlab, jo fertilized zygote hai, wo aage travel karke uterus tak aa nahi pata hai. Wo udhar hi implant ho jata hai. So, this is what happens in more and more cases, mein hota hai, in most of the cases. But it can also get implanted in other places like the uterine cervix, where it doesn't have to be, or the ovary, or the abdominal cavity also. Okay. So, it's actually a potentially life-threatening condition because why? Because it's detected at later stages. Okay, in normal pregnancy also in many cases it happens that after 2-3 months the mother comes to know that she is actually pregnant pregnant okay so pregnancy is such a thing only because the symptoms are not same in uh, for everyone okay kuch kuch logo ka jaise bahut zyada morning nausea hota hai you know fit different other symptoms hote hai 
बट कुछ कुछ लोगों का कुछ सिम्टम होते ही नहीं है so they are not that much aware the only symptom that is present that there is no periods and many people are not that much conscious or that much you know uh, careful about their periods uh, cycle or their menstruation uh, menstrual cycle so in many cases in normal pregnancy i am talking about it happens ki 2 3 mahina baad ja ke unko pata chalta hai ki that person is actually pregnant so in ectopic pregnancy also it's the same thing jab tak symptom aane lagta hai tab tak it's very late it's not that ki aaj agar एक्टोपिक uh, प्रेगनेंसी का इम्प्लांटेशन uh, हो गया तो कल ही पेशेंट को पता चल जाएगा कल ही कुछ ना कुछ सिम्टम आ जाएगा या एक हफ्ते के अंदर कुछ ना कुछ सिम्टम आ जाएगा नो यूजुअली द सिम्टम्स यू नो स्टार्ट्स अपीयरिंग फ्रॉम द सेकंड ऑफ द थर्ड मंथ एंड ऑफ द थर्ड मंथ सो तब तक जो होता है बहुत ज्यादा लेट हो जाता है बहुत ज्यादा इंटरनल ब्लीडिंग हो जाता है सो इट्स एक्चुअली अ पोटेंशियली लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग कंडीशन द यू नो द पर्सन कैन एक्चुअली सफर द वुमेन कैन एक्चुअली सफर डेथ फ्रॉम दैट ओके so most of the ectopic pregnancy more than 96% just as i was talking about occur in the fallopian tubes which is known as tubal pregnancy kyunki tube mein ho raha hai isliye tubal they can be in other locations also like the uterine cervix ovary and abdominal cavity okay if it's occurring in the abdominal cavity then it's known as abdominal pregnancy and the result will obviously be a miscarriage kyunki jahan pe usko originally hona hai wahan pe wo implant nahi ho paya hai to obviously zahir si baat hai ki wo aage jaake wo jo zygote hai ya embryo hai wo aage jaake develop nahi kar payega the the gastrulation will not be proper okay ectopic pregnancy can be a medical emergency if it ruptures in many cases kya hota hai jo potentially life threatening condition hota hai wo tabhi hota hai jab jaake wo burst kar jata hai ठीक है रप्चर कर जाता है सो द एंटायर फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स गेट्स रप्चर एंड इट लीड्स टू ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ यू नो इंटरनल हेमरेज सो देर आर सम साइंस ऑफ एक्टोपिक प्रेगनेंसी लाइक एब्डोमिनल पेन शोल्डर पेन वजाइनल ब्लीडिंग एंड फीलिंग डिजी और फेंट ओके नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंडीशन दैट वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट इज हाइडेटी फॉर्म मोल विच कॉरेस्पॉन्ड्स टू द कोड ओ जीरो वन सो इट्स अ जस्टेशनल डिजॉर्डर कैरेक्टराइज बाई एन एबनॉर्मल प्लासेंटा with marked enlargement of the chorionic villi and hyperplasia of the villus trophoblastic cells so all this chorionic villi this villus trophoblastic cells these are important cells which are seen in the placenta while the baby is actually developing during the gestation period okay so it contains this particular mole which is known as the hydratiform mole it contains many cysts which are nothing but sacs of fluid and it is usually been a benign means it's non cancerous but it may spread to the nearby tissues in which case it can be it can become uh, cancerous and malignant and in that case it will be known as a invasive mole it may also become a malignant tumor called corio carcinoma and it is the most common type of gestational trophoblastic tumor okay moving on to the next important condition that is spontaneous abortion the code for which will be o03 so it's a loss of pregnancy from natural causes before the 20th week of pregnancy okay i think the uh, end of pregnancy or the time when delivery occurs is around 36 to 38 uh, weeks of pregnancy so usse bahut pehle agar 20th week se bhi pehle automatically there is natural miscarriage that's why it's known as spontaneous spontaneous matlab jo apne aap ho raha hai theek hai so it's not a medically aided process or it's not something which the couple has decided that let's abort the baby no it's not like that it's automatically the baby is getting aborted okay so most miscarriages occur very early in the pregnancy often before a woman knows that she is actually pregnant this is something very important सो so, ज्यादा से ज्यादा जो स्पॉन्टेनियस अबॉर्शन होते हैं वो ज्यादा से ज्यादा दो से तीन महीने के अंदर ही हो जाता है ओके फैक्टर्स में कंट्रीब्यूट लाइक अ जेनेटिक प्रॉब्लम विद द फीटर्स विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज इन द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर इट कैन ऑल्सो हैपन ड्यू टू प्रॉब्लम इन द यूटरस ऑफ द सर्विक्स एंड इफ देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द विद द यूटरस ऑफ द सर्विक्स देन द मिसकैरेज यूजली ऑकर्स इन द सेकेंड ट्राइमेस्टर मीन्स फ्रॉम द फोर्थ टू द सिक्स मंथ and also polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos can also be a, a reason for you know spontaneous miscarriage okay okay next important set of conditions the codes will be running from 010 to 016 as we can see so they are referring to edema proteinuria and hypertensive disorders in pregnancy childbirth and the puerperium so let's see what are the different sub codes that they are showing over here so first we have uh again i think they are following the chronological manner so there is no exception so 
O1 zero, zero will be referring to pre-existing hypertension complicating pregnancy, childbirth and the poor perium. Then O11 will refer to pre-existing hypertension with preeclampsia. Then O12 will refer to gestational edema and proteinuria without hypertension. And O13 will refer to gestational hypertension without significant proteinuria. And then we have O14 which refers to preeclampsia. And we have O15 which refers to eclampsia. And we also have O16 which refers to unspecified maternal hypertension. Okay. So let's see uh, most of these conditions are important. So we need to talk about them different uh, separately. So the first most important condition will be uh, referring to the subcode O11 which corresponds to pre-existing hypertension with preeclampsia. So it occurs when a woman with chronic high blood pressure develops the complications of preeclampsia during pregnancy. So now what is preeclampsia? As from the name only we can understand that the main word is eclampsia over here. Matlab eclampsia tab, tab tak hua nahi hai, uska pehla wala stage hai. That will be preeclampsia, means before eclampsia. So it is characterized by the onset of high blood pressure, protein in the urine and sometimes organ damage such as liver or kidney after 20 weeks of gestation. This condition can pose serious risks to both the mother and the baby including preterm birth, placental abruption uh, or eclampsia which is also known as seizures. Management will typically involve close monitoring, medications to control blood pressure and in severe cases early delivery may be necessary to protect the health of both the mother and the baby. So basically it's a condition where the blood pressure becomes abnormally high, blood pressure of the mother becomes abnormally high and it goes on to damage the different important vital organs. So there can be a tendency or there can be a situation of multi-organ failure which will obviously not only hamper the condition of the mother but also of the baby. Okay, next is preeclampsia. So, abhi tak humne jo discuss kiya tha, that is pre-existing hypertension. Matlab before getting pregnant also, the mother was already suffering from high blood pressure. The mother was already hypertensive. Aur wo dawai bhi shayad le rahe the. Lekin when it's only preeclampsia, preeclampsia, that means there was no symptom of hypertension before pregnancy in the mother. Lekin pregnant hone ke baad uska hypertension ho gaya hai. Okay, so that is the difference between the two conditions. So the subcode for preeclampsia will be 014. So it's a complication of pregnancy characterized by a complex of symptoms including maternal hypertension and proteinuria with or without pathological edema. Symptoms may range between mild and severe. Preeclampsia usually occurs after the 20th week of gestation but may develop before this time in the presence of trophoblastic disease. And next is eclampsia which corresponds to the subcode 015. So it's again a potentially life-threatening condition in pregnant or puerperal women. Puerperal means just after delivery. Puerperal or puerperium means just post-delivery. Okay. Manifested by convulsions in association with hypertension, edema or proteinuria. Okay. Next important set of conditions are maternal care related to the fetus and amniotic cavity and possible delivery problems. So the subcodes are running from 030 to 048. Okay. So let's see. Uh, there are some exceptions where they are not following the chronological order. Okay, so let's first focus on the codes only. So first we have O30 which refers to multiple gestation. Then we have O31 which refers to complications specific to multiple gestation. Then we have O32 which corresponds to maternal care for mal presentation of fetus. Then we have O33 which corresponds to maternal care for disproportion. Then we have O34 which corresponds to maternal care for abnormality of pelvic organs. Then we have O35 which corresponds to maternal care for known or suspected fetal abnormality and damage. Then we have O36 which <coughs> sorry, corresponds to maternal care for other fetal problems. Then we have O40 which corresponds to polyhydraminose. Then we have O41 which corresponds to other disorders of amniotic fluid and membranes. Then we have O42 which corresponds to premature rupture of membranes. Then we have O43 which corresponds to placental disorders. Then we have O44 which corresponds to placenta previa which is again a very complicated and common situation. Uh, then we have O45 which corresponds to premature separation of placenta which is also known as abruptio placentae. Then we have O46 which corresponds to antipertum hemorrhage not elsewhere classified. Then we have O47 which corresponds to false labor. 
then we have 048 which corresponds to late pregnancy okay so i think uh, the places where the chronological manner is not maintained is after 036 we are directly having 040 i think this is the only scenario okay in all the other subcodes they are maintaining the chronological order okay so let's see the first condition that we need to talk about so the code will be 030 and the uh, corresponding condition will be multiple gestation okay so multiple gestation means ek se zyada ek jab fertilize ho chuka hai by the sperm okay so it's the ideal condition where we have twins or triplets okay so it's a gestation with more than one fertilized egg implanted as a viable fetus in the uterus a pregnancy involving twins or higher order multiple fetuses example triplets and quadruplets i think uh, triplets to hota hi hai it's not that much uncommon also lekin quadruplets is very much uncommon in case of humans but still it has been seen okay next we have polyhydraminos uh basically it's uh, pronounced as polyhydramnios okay so the corresponding subcode will be 040 so it's a condition of abnormally high amniotic fluid volumes as uh, more than 2000 ml in the last trimester and usually diagnosed by usg uh, so the criteria will be amniotic fluid index means basically by doing usg we will be only focusing on uh, you know mapping or uh, measuring the amniotic fluid index okay it is associated with maternal diabetes mellitus multiple pregnancy chromosomal disorders and congenital abnormalities means these can be the risk factors or the associated factors next we have is o42 which corresponds to premature rupture of membranes so it's a spontaneous tearing of the membrane surrounding the fetus any time before the onset of obstetric labor preterm prom is membrane rupture before 37 weeks of gestation rupture of membranes is diagnosed by speculum vaginal examination of the cervix and vaginal cavity which will show pooling of fluid in the vagina and leakage of fluid from the cervix okay next important condition will be placental disorders which corresponds to the subcode 043 so it's a deviation or uh, interruption of the normal structure or function of the placenta and means any pathological uh, abnormality or any abnormal structure or any abnormal function of the placenta will be uh, corresponding to placental disorders okay okay next what we have is placenta previa uh, which corresponds to the subcode 044 so it's an abnormal placentation in which the placenta implants in the lower segment of the uterus that is where the zone of dilation should be happening and it may cover part or the opening of the cervix so basically placenta previa may the problem that arises is that person can never go for natural delivery okay that person always needs to go for cesarean delivery because the implantation hua hai wo hua hi hai cervix pe okay and also the chances of miscarriage is more kyunki jitna niche ki taraf hoga utna zyada usme gravity ka pull aayega isn't it to utna zyada usme jo uh, spontaneous miscarriage ka chances hoga wo utna zyada hoga okay and it is all often associated with serious antepartum bleeding and premature labor okay next condition is uh, the subcode for which is 045 so it corresponds to premature separation of placenta which is also known as abruptio placentae so it's the separation of the placenta from, uh, from the maternal uterine attachment when it occurs after the 20th week of pregnancy signs of varying degree of severity will include uterine bleeding uterine muscle hypertonia and fetal distress or fetal death okay next important condition will be false labor the subcode for which will be 047 so it's a relatively painless irregular tightening sensation felt by the pregnant mother over the abdomen after the 20th week of pregnancy that lasts about a minute each time so it's nothing very serious or fatal okay next is late pregnancy which uh, the subcode for which is 048 so it is a term used to describe pregnancies that exceed the upper limit of a normal gestational period in humans a prolonged pregnancy is defined as one that extends beyond 42 weeks after the first day of the last menstrual period or birth with gestational age of 41 weeks or more so as why i was saying that normally 39 or 39 weeks ke uh, 38 or 39 weeks ke andar ho jata hai if it's a normal delivery not a premature delivery normal delivery as in a like timely delivery 
और अगर वो 41 वीक्स तक खींचता है या उसके भी ऊपर जाता है देन दैट मीन्स इट्स अ लेट प्रेगनेंसी ओके नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेट ऑफ सब कोर्स दैट वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट सो कैन सी ओवर हियर so the subcodes are running from 060 to 077 and they are corresponding to various complications of labor and delivery so let's see what are the conditions or what are the subcodes rather so first we have 060 which corresponds to preterm labor then we have 061 which corresponds to failed induction of labor then we have 062 which corresponds to abnormalities of forces of labor then we have 063 which corresponds to long labor then we have 064 which corresponds to obstructed labor due to malposition and mal uh, mal presentation of fetus then we have 065 which corresponds to obstructed labor due to maternal pelvic abnormality then we have 066 which corresponds to other obstructed labor then we have 067 which corresponds to labor and delivery complicated by intrapartum hemorrhage not elsewhere classified then we have 068 which corresponds to labor and delivery complicated by abnormality of fetal acid base balance then we have 069 which corresponds to labor and delivery complicated by umbilical cord complications then we have 070 which corresponds to perineal laceration during delivery then we have 071 which corresponds to other obstetric trauma then we have 072 which corresponds to postpartum hemorrhage then we have 073 which corresponds to retained placenta and membranes without hemorrhage then we have 074 which corresponds to complications of anesthesia during labor and delivery then we have 075 which corresponds to other complications of labor and delivery not elsewhere classified then we have 076 which corresponds to abnormality in fetal heart rate and rhythm complicating labor and delivery okay so i think it's uh, yeah it is in the chronological manner only so there is no skipping okay so the first condition that we need to talk about is preterm labor which corresponds to the subcode 060 so it's a disorder characterized by delivery of a viable infant before the normal end of gestation typically viability is achi achievable between the 28th and the 37th week of gestation means basically it's a delivery of a premature baby Okay next important condition is failed induction of labor which corresponds to the subcode 061 so it occurs when efforts to stimulate labor typically with medications like oxytocin or prostaglandins because these are the medications which are used to induce the labor because they are directly responsible for contraction of the uterus okay do not result in regular contractions or cervical dilation sufficient for vaginal delivery this can happen if the cervix remains unfavorable or the uterus does not respond to the, uh, to the induction method sorry <coughs> when induction fails it may increase the likelihood of requiring a cesarean section to safely deliver the baby the decision to proceed with a cesarean is based on factors like maternal and fetal well being as well as the progression of labor okay next is uh, long labor which corresponds to the subcode 063 so it is also known as prolonged labor it occurs when the active phase of childbirth takes longer than usual it can be caused by so it's it can also be known as prolonged labor as uh, they have mentioned over here and it can be caused by various factors such as a large baby large baby means overweight baby so usually the ideal weight should be between 2.5 to 3.5 kg okay ideal weight of a baby of a normal baby who is not premature okay of a timely uh, delivered baby but if it exceeds more than 4 or 4.5 kg of weight then that means it's a large baby or a obese baby okay overweight baby weak contractions in the uterus or the baby's position in the birth canal this condition can increase the risk of complications for both the mother and baby potentially requiring medical interventions like a cesarean section proper monitoring and timely medical assistance are essential to ensure a safe delivery okay next condition is perineal laceration during delivery which corresponds to the subcode 070 so uh, it refers to a tear in the tissue between the vagina and the anus that occurs as the baby is born and it can range from mild to severe so it can be a first degree tear or it can be a fourth degree tear with more severe lacerations extending into the muscles and even the rectum perineal lacerations may require stitches and careful postpartum care to heal properly proper support and techniques during childbirth can help reduce the risk of such tears okay and there is also a condition known as uh, you know episiotomy where actually this perineal laceration or perineal tear needs to be made 
okay in most of the cases where the actually not perineal uh, tear is done in the you know in the vagina only in the birth canal only when the uh, you know when proper dilation doesn't occur okay to aid in the process of natural delivery okay so next condition is postpartum hemorrhage which corresponds to the subcode 072 so it's excess blood loss from uterine bleeding associated with obstetric labor or childbirth it is defined as blood loss greater than 500 ml or of the amount that adversely affects the maternal physiology such as blood pressure and hematocrit postpartum hemorrhage is divided into two categories one is immediate which occurs within first 24 hours of birth and one is delayed which occurs after 24 hours post birth okay next important condition is complications of anesthesia during labor and delivery which corresponds to the subcode 074 so these are maternal complications arising from the administration of a general regional or local anesthetic analgesic or other sedation during labor and delivery next is abnormality in fetal heart rate and rhythm complicating labor and delivery which corresponds to the subcode 076 so it can indicate distress or complications affecting the baby these abnormalities may include tachycardia means increased heart rate bradycardia means decreased heart rate or irregular rhythms often signaling issues like lack of oxygen umbilical cord problems or placental insufficiency continuous fetal monitoring is used to detect these irregularities allowing medical professionals to intervene if necessary treatment will include repositioning the mother administering oxygen or in most severe cases performing an emergency cesarean section prompt recognition and intervention are critical to ensure the safety and well-being of both the mother and the baby okay next important set of uh, codes will be running from 080 to 082 which corresponds to encounter for delivery so it refers to the healthcare visit or hospital admission when a pregnant woman gives birth it includes the process of labor delivery of the baby and the immediate postpartum care provided to both mother and newborn medical professionals monitor the mother's progress manage pain and address any complications that may arise during childbirth the goal is to ensure a safe and healthy delivery for both mother and baby okay next important set of subcodes as we can see over here so they are running from 085 to 092 and they refer to the conditions that is complications predominantly related to the puerperium means just after delivery so first is 085 which corresponds to puerperal sepsis then we have 086 which corresponds to other puerperal infections then we have 087 which corresponds to venous complications and hemorrhoids and the puerperium then we have 088 which corresponds to obstetric embolism then we have 089 which corresponds to complications of anesthesia during the puerperium then we have 090 which corresponds to complications of the puerperium not elsewhere classified then we have 091 which corresponds to infections of breast associated with pregnancy puerperium and lactation then we have 092 which corresponds to other disorders of breast and disorders of lactation associated with pregnancy and the puerperium okay so two most important conditions among here that we need to talk about so first is 085 which corresponds to puerperal sepsis so we all know what is sepsis blood infection mainly caused by bacteria so it's a severe bacterial infection uh, occurs in women after childbirth typically within the first six weeks of postpartum it can result from infections in the uterus birth canal or surgical wounds and is often caused by bacteria like staphylococcus or streptococcus symptoms include fever abdominal pain uh, foul spelling vaginal discharge and general signs of infection early diagnosis and treatment with antibiotics are crucial to prevent life-threatening complications such as septic shock and the last condition that we will talk about over here is obstetric embolism which refers to the subcode 088 so it's a rare but life-threatening condition that occurs when material such as amniotic fluid fetal cells or blood clots enters the mother's bloodstream during labor or shortly after delivery this can lead to a blockage in the blood vessels of the lungs known as pulmonary embolism or other serious complications like cardiovascular collapse symptoms will include sudden shortness of breath chest pain and a rapid drop in blood pressure immediate medical intervention is required to prevent severe outcomes for both the mother and the baby so i think that's uh, that's it with the topic of uh, pregnancy and childbirth and puerperium related issues so soon we will be moving on to the next important module of medical coding till then thank you and goodbye please like share and subscribe itls academy thank you